having an old computer does not mean you can't get Wi-Fi 6. So if you really want to bump up the juices in your Wi-Fi experience, this video is for you. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos. Today we're talking about upgrading our Wi-Fi 6 in a older laptop so that we can get that speed with our new Wi-Fi 6 router. I've made a whole bunch of videos. I will link those below on the routers. And we're going to be upgrading this, the XPS 9570. I bought this a couple years ago. It did not have a newer chip. So, hey, let's jump in and see what this looks like. And it's going to follow the, uh, the routine of most laptops. So what you have here is a couple of uh, different screws that you're going to need. So I would always encourage you to go buy one of these different toolkits. Uh, these toolkits are great. They can come with different amounts of pieces. Make sure when you're dealing with certain laptops, you check it out first and see like this is literally a T5 bit. And uh, once it focuses, you can see that it's like super, super um, different than all your other bits. They do this because they, you know, want to make it harder, I guess, for you to open the laptop. Now, when you do uh, go through and undo all the screws, uh, the two screws in the middle uh, will be standard screw bits. You open it up and now you start to see the insides of this laptop. You can see from this laptop that the idea here is that the heat sinks will take care of a lot of the uh, heating issues that you might uh, have when you're speeding through uh, rendering. However, your fans will will be dirty. You can see like, I just cleaned these like a couple months ago and uh, dirty right away. Um, it's based on your environment where you're taking this. This is all out and about with me all the time. So when we're looking at this, we got all our screws out. Uh, what you'll notice is in this machine, the two pieces of RAM are here in the middle. I have upgraded these. This machine came with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it is literally at 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, a little bit more expensive than I thought I would spend on them, but at the time it was uh, not bad. I also have a 970 Evo in here. So these are the two things that you, or three things that you can upgrade right away. Uh, you can upgrade your SSD drive because usually they're crappy SSD drives that you can and get a nice NVMe drive in there. You can upgrade your RAM and of course then you want to look at upgrading your chip now the chip when we're looking at this upgrade of the chip we're, we're saying to ourselves hey how do we manage to just fix and change this so you're going to be looking at the specs of your computer and looking at what you actually have there now to change this card all you need to do is literally unscrew this and what you will find is that it has two clips now these two clips there you go we move that and this card will now nicely slide off. It's got two little clips here. And these little clips uh, release the card and that's all you have. This is the card. And basically, when you have a card like this, you just have to make sure you have the right one. And that's it, you're, you're done. You, you drop it back in and you're off to the races. Now, these cards are the AX200s. And basically, you just need to go online and purchase the right one and you're off to the races. I will show you exactly which ones those are. Um, and that's it. You put this back in, you make sure these clip back on. These are the antenna um, lines. There we go. So they are both in now. We see that goes in. And then basically, we're just going to grab this, throw this on top so we can secure it in with a screw. And that's it. That's all you're going to be doing. So you're going to have uh, an older one in there. And once you replace it with this, you're good to go. And that's it. So basically, you are literally good to go with closing up this computer after you, you know, clean it up a little bit and uh, put the screws back in. Once you load it up, the uh, actual windows will put in the drivers for you. You're not gonna have any issues. You're good to go. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, one uh, few things here, just so everybody, uh, since the laptop's open, these two uh, pieces of RAM, that's all you do to take this out. So when you're going to somebody and spending $40, to upgrade one of these pieces of RAM, all they're doing is opening up your laptop and removing, and that's it. You have two here. This one would just need a screw, and literally, uh, and I've shown this with my other laptop too when uh, I was walking through that issue, and you literally undo, put this back in, you're good to go, no complaints whatsoever, and you can upgrade all this stuff, no problem. Lastly, before I shut this down and uh, pack it up and show you what you should be buying on Amazon. Uh, this is the battery. Literally, if you want to replace your battery and you're over the uh, warranty date and they're not going to fix it for you, you just uh, buy this battery and uh, replace it. This is how fast these things can be, re be replaced. And then you're good to go. 
On another note, you can remove these fans as well to do a proper cleaning, which I'll probably do later instead of blowing these down. I'll just leave it open now and, uh, you know, not screw it back on, but literally you put this cap back on and you are off to the races. This will boot up and you won't have any issues. If you're looking to purchase one of these cards, we could just go to Amazon or eBay. Just look up AX200 Wi-Fi 6 cards. You will see all of them pop up. Now you'll have the ones that are for PCIe cards that go into your computer. And then of course, the ones that are uh, for laptops. Uh, you're gonna look at this and you're gonna say to yourself, well, there's a, you know, there, there's a model number here with NGW. There's uh, two models there that we wanna be looking at. But if we just click into here, you'll see these uh, names up here. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just the manufacturer who's producing it. Uh, if you scroll down, actually, you can uh, you can look at a whole bunch of other ones, and there are a whole bunch of different vendors here that are uh, selling these. So I mean, it does, does it matter which one you go with? I purchased one that just said Intel on it, and one was uh, a brand name. Um, both both worked, both did good, and there was no issues. Now. When you're looking at the idea of the model number, you will see this 9260. You are looking literally for the AX200 NGW, and this card is the one that you'd be looking at so you can get that Wi-Fi 6 speed. Now, you'll find this on eBay and what have you. If you want to look at more specs, uh, you can actually go Intel, and you can look at the idea behind what's the difference between the 200 and the 201, which, um, you know, th there are the different models. One is a CRF module. So it doesn't really affect you with what you're trying to do here. Uh, you can also see like the different types of uh, cars in the uh, that you'd be at and where the progression has been. And lastly, you can click in here and actually see all the different specs that exist. I mean, there's so much information out here, but you can literally buy this for, on the cheap. And this is 30 bucks is Canadian. So you're looking around 20 bucks American. But a bing, bada, boom, this comes in, you plug it in, and now you have Wi-Fi 6. When you go to Device Manager and you check out the driver, here you will find an advanced tab. Here is all your settings. Now, they will come with auto mode. The ones that I do change is the uh, 80211, the NACAX. I change it to always be an AX. And then when you look at the channel width for five gigahertz, make sure it is on auto. The fat channel intolerant, you can enable or disable that depending on the router settings that you've picked. And of course, when you come down to packet coalescing, I found a better, um, uh, better results with it being enabled. So referred brand, again, no no preference. I do have aggressive roaming set to medium. And uh, sometimes like I'll switch it to highest, but it doesn't really make an effect because that's like when you're, you're roaming, right? You're looking for stuff and your router is right there. So um, it's just uh, the way to, you know, if you lose connection a lot, you want to just uh, sign, log back in fast. The through, uh, throughput booster, whether you have this enabled or disabled, it, I haven't seen a big issue with it because the router is right next to it. However, you have more people on, I've noticed that this setting will have more uh, results. So uh, if you have a big family, what have you, that's what you probably want to do. I'll leave it enabled right now. And we're going to do a quick little test here. There are other people on the network. Let's see where this goes. And here we go, 600, 650, 650, yes, 670, we're hitting 670, 680, can we hit 690? 690, yes, 690, oh buddy, 690. Let's see the upload here. Going to do 250, passes it, 350, 350, yes, 400, 400, 400, come on, yes, yes, 450, 450, yes, yes, we're back in the game, almost 500. 500, oh, <laughs> one little chip for like 30 bucks. What can I say? Amazing. And just like that, done, 20 minutes or so. I mean, it might take you a little bit longer, maybe an hour, first time opening up a computer. Yeah, okay. Go online, check out who has already opened up your specific computer or similar model, open it up the way they're doing it, make sure you don't break any clips so you might be a little bit more delicate with how you're doing the, the whole opening, get it open, replace this Wi-Fi 6 card, you got the new Wi-Fi 6 router, now you got super fast speed, like double or triple the speed, it, I'm amazing. At the same time, hey, while you're in there, replace that RAM, replace that SSD drive so it can go a little bit faster, and you're off to the races. A quick fix up can save you from having to go buy a new laptop. And I mean, the new stuff that's gonna be coming out in the next like six to eight months to a year is gonna be awesome. So if you can delay it, why not? Check out these two videos. 
it certainly will help. And of course, uh, like and subscribe and leave your comment below on what have you been doing with the upgrades. Was it easy? Was it not? You know, leave your two cents because uh, I'm sure somebody who's watching this will read your comment and they probably have a situation that's similar to yours and who knows, you might make their day.